Now, I love a good nose about in other people's houses, don't you? Today, we're taking you one step further, and we're going to show you some of the things that have been concealed, even from the residents of these homes, sometimes for hundreds of years. From an entire flipping underground city to an ancient medieval well, here are 20 creepy things found hidden in people's homes. Number 20. Man knocks down a wall in his house and uncovers an entire hidden city. Now, this story seems like the beginning of a children's magical adventure tale, but it is for real and it's going to blow your mind. A man would be carrying out standard sorts of building works on his house to add on an extension when he had the surprise of his life. He knocked a hole in a wall and discovered an entire hidden underground city beneath his home. No kidding! As he peered into the room he had discovered beneath his home, the man decided to take a closer look. With certain trepidation, he ventured into the narrow dark space, and it would be then that he realized that this was not a cellar as he had imagined, but rather a kind of corridor which seemed to lead into another space. As he peered through the darkness, it began to dawn on him that there were many rooms, many spaces, corridors, and chambers. This was certainly much bigger than just the space beneath his house. That's when he decided to alert the local archaeologists, and they came in their hundreds. This was an extraordinary unearthing that was soon to be considered one of the most significant archaeological discoveries ever. It turns out that it was the lost city of Derinkuyu, so concealed that people believed it may have been a myth after all. But there it was, a whole ancient metropolis from the 7th and 8th centuries BC, just below the surface the entire time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Woman finds an entire apartment behind her bathroom mirror. Well, TikTok is a generally useless and irritating modern invention, but apparently it gave this young woman an opportunity to broadcast an interesting discovery that she made in her apartment. Naturally, it went viral and became news, as these things are wont to do, so here we are telling you about it again. The young woman in question is named Samantha Hartz, and she lives in an apartment in New York City. She found out that her apartment was always cold, no matter what she did, so she began investigating and then discovered it was especially chilly in the bathroom. In fact, there was cold air seemingly blasting in through anywhere that there was a gap, and that's when she decided to get all Nancy Drew about it and poke about a bit more. And she found that the mirror in the bathroom moved when she touched it. Dun dun dun! So, as this is TikTok and it's all about the clickety clicks, she left people in suspense and left the next bit of the adventure as part two. Yes, our lives are now serialized on the interwebs. What she finally revealed in the next video was that there was indeed a hole through which the chilliness was blowing, and suddenly, the camera shows the source of the cold. It's a whole room behind the mirror. So she does exactly what the horror movies would tell you not to do. I mean, have you ever even seen Candyman? And that's when she climbs through. There is, kind of not surprisingly, given the fact that it is an apartment building after all, another apartment on the other side of the mirror. And that's about it. There's only trash inside, so it's not exactly a thrill ride, and that is all. The woman discovers another apartment next to her own apartment. It's really not the most exciting thing, is it? Number 18. Woman's deathbed revelation leads nephew to hidden painting, which may be a lost Picasso. When Jenny Verastro was dying, she had told her nephew, a man by the name of Carl Sabatino, that he should go and look under the sewing machine in her home on Staten Island. That's intriguing. Well, old Carl was intrigued and he headed off to take a look for himself, and what he discovered would be a painting that had allegedly been bought by his uncle in London back during the Second World War. The painting depicts a woman wearing a fuzzy hat that Carl remembered had been hanging on the wall of his aunt's home when he had visited as a child. 
So when he noticed that it had the signature of Picasso, Carl began investigating the painting. It turned out to be a recreation of Picasso's Woman with a Cape, which was on display at the Cleveland Museum. One New York auction house took a look at the painting and dismissed it immediately as a cheap knockoff, but Carl was not deterred and looked into Picasso's history in the pre-war years of France. He found out that the artist had been studying some very specific techniques during that time, and so he sent a tiny pigment for analysis. The test would show that the artwork was definitely from 1930s Europe and that there was also a partial thumbprint. The jury is still out though, but there are people who believe that this could be a genuine Picasso, and its value would be around $13 million. So it's probably worth finding out after all. Number 17. Family Makes Shocking Discovery Behind Walls During Home Renovations Well, this one's going to be kind of gross and actually disturbing, so I'm sorry in advance. This family in Auburn, Pennsylvania made a horrible discovery when they were doing some renovation work on their home. Hidden inside of the walls were dozens of animal carcasses. It's weird. This family were planning on putting some insulation material into the spaces in the walls, but it seems as though that had already been done. Aliens. You know that you were thinking it too. Weird stuff with dead animals is usually one of two things you know. Either someone is practicing to be a serial killer, or it's aliens. The walls were positively stuffed with old trash and the bones of dead creatures that had been wrapped up in newspapers mostly dating back to the 1930s. According to some experts in weird stuff, people may have done this as a kind of magic spell which was to cure various ailments. I can only imagine that having the rotting bodies of dead things in your walls, that's not especially good for, you know, health reasons and stuff, even if it does cure your rheumatoid arthritis. But who could possibly say? Number 16. Idaho House Infested with Snakes a young couple bought what they thought was their dream home in Idaho. Although, who the heck really dreams of living in Idaho? Only as soon as they moved in, they would discover that it was actually going to be a bit more of a nightmare. The couple discovered that the entire place was completely infested with garter snakes. They crawled behind the walls all night long and excreted disgusting stuff into the drinking water. There were so many that they simply didn't know what to do about it. In one single day, they actually actually killed 42 snakes, and perhaps they could have started a side hustle in snakeskin handbags or something. For the next three months, the couple were tormented by the endless invasion of snakes. They had signed a form when they bought it that said they knew about the snakes, except the real estate agent had told them that it was a made-up story that had been fabricated by the previous owners for financial reasons. Except that it obviously wasn't. In fact, the place was known in the town as the Snake House. Eventually, Eventually, the family left the home and then filed for bankruptcy, and the bank foreclosed on the house. Number 15. Giant Monopoly Board Found Painted on Floorboards Under Carpet Do you really enjoy board games? Like, a whole lot? It seems that someone loves Monopoly, which is one of the worst and most boring board games ever, by the way. If you want to make enemies out of friends, just play that game. This person loved it so very much that they wanted to live surrounded by it at all times, and that's the only explanation for this proper weirdness. Some bloke in Britain somewhere was doing a bit of renovation work on his home when he pulled up the old carpet and it revealed the floorboards beneath. The thing was, though, that those floorboards were painted to resemble the Monopoly game board, with each square marked out and painted in extra-large room-filling size. It's super weird, but it does take all sorts. Do you think that the previous residents would play the game on the massive board? What would they use for pieces? It is a weird sort of decor statement to make, unless you're, of course, an evil landlord who really loves rubbing it in. Number 14. Hidden tunnel not seen since 1895 found by Illinois homeowners. 
A couple in Illinois made a surprising discovery underneath their home that had not been seen in over a century. They found a tunnel beneath their house after the sidewalk had begun to buckle and they had taken action to fix it. They had not expected to find this strange secret location since it doesn't appear on any of the documentation that's related to the house. That's when they decided to poke about a bit and see where the tunnel might lead and what it was all about. Inside of the tunnel, there was a brick-built archway and then just a large pile of dirt at the other end. There was no other evidence of what it was built for or where they may have intended for it to lead, and the whole strange thing simply remains a slightly creepy mystery. But what do you think that this tunnel was all about? Stick to your ideas in the comments section down below. It's time that we Columbo the piss out of this one. Number 13. Eerie Time Capsule Home Found with Toys and Unread Newspapers from the 1950s this house is in Lancashire in the UK and has given urban explorers the willies. It appears as though it has somehow remained completely untouched for several decades, given the evidence that's inside, and it looks as though nobody had even stepped foot in there since the 1970s. There are all kinds of things left inside of this old Victorian farmhouse, from newspapers that have been there since the 1950s to children's toys. There's a sense of how this was once a family home. But where did everyone go? And why would they have left all their stuff inside? There's even still china in the cabinets, and there are photographs on the mantelpiece. But no real evidence of how and why it would all just be left behind and closed up for decades. There are, of course, rumors and stories locally as to why this happened. People say that there had been a feud between a couple of brothers after their mother had died. They were banned from entering the property by the other relatives. Not quite sure how all of that would hold up in the legal sense, but who could possibly say? Do you have any bright ideas? Be sure to let me know all of your wonderfully imaginative stories in the comments section down below. Number 12. Guatemalan family doing refurbishments in their kitchen discover Mayan murals that haven't been seen in centuries. When they began doing some work to renovate their kitchen, this couple in Guatemala made a surprise discovery beneath the plaster work. Their home dated back to the 1700s and had been concealing this artwork on the original walls for hundreds of years. It's believed that the murals on the walls represent something called the Conquest Dance. This was used by the Mayan people to reenact history when Spanish invaders forced the Mayan people to convert to Christianity. National Geographic have been into the home to photograph and document the murals and have begun the process of further investigations into the origins of the art. The Mayan civilization of South America was an advanced one which created many significant technologies and architecture. It is the hope that these murals will continue to expand some of the knowledge that we have about this history as so much of it would be destroyed or deleted by invading forces who then took over the region and denied much of the culture of these people. Number 11. Virginia family discovers secret room and collectible coins behind hidden door in new home. When Levi and Kelsey Gillies and their daughter moved into a new house in Harrisburg, Virginia, they were surprised to find that they had a secret hidden room and that it was full of treasure. Well, kind of. It was a bit like a children's adventure story, at least for a moment or two. They found that there was a hidden door that was disguised as a bookcase, but it had bolts on it. That's usually a big giveaway to the fact that everything is not as it seems. So they opened the fake bookcase slash secret door, and that's when they found that there was a whole hidden room behind it. Then when they stepped inside, they realized that there was also a hiding place inside the floor. It turned out to be a hidden drawer and it was full of rare coins. The family decided that it wasn't finders keepers and they returned the box of treasure to the previous owners. Number 10. Couple renovating kitchen finds mysterious 54-year-old wedding album. In all honesty, is it really truly surprising to find old stuff that's been left behind by the previous owners in a home which have had many different people passing through? Probably not that surprising or even strange really, if I'm being perfectly honest about it. But still, here we are again with a non-news story that somehow would be deemed newsworthy enough for someone to type it up and sling it up online and for people like us to repeat it in a never-ending cycle of feigned interest and so-called shock. 
These people were apparently removing the kitchen of their mother's home, which she had purchased in 2009, and they were tearing down the kitchen ceiling when they happened upon a wedding album from a couple that they did not know that dated back to 1963. Now that is fascinating, but the best part of the story is probably the fact that when the guy was ripping out the ceiling, the massive heavy wedding book smacked him right in the face. Perhaps it was that bump on the head that made him think that it was an interesting story, because that's all folks, that's all they found. The end. Number 9. Couple finds more than 66 bottles of Prohibition era whiskey hidden in the walls of their New York home. Well, this one is a fun find if you happen to like adult beverages and a bit of history thrown in for good measure. When this couple moved into their home in New York, they didn't really believe the stories about it having been built by a notorious Prohibition-era bootlegger. But as they began doing renovation work, it turned out that the rumors might have actually been true. Inside of the walls and the floors of the house, they would find bottle after bottle of booze. It turned out that there were dozens of bundles of liquor hidden all over the place. It would be smuggled during Prohibition. This was a period of time in the United States between January of 1920 and December of 1933 when there was a constitutional ban on the production, import, transport, and sale of alcohol for consumption. Obviously, a ban of that particular variant was actually just a way for criminal enterprises to flourish and bootlegging and smuggling to become commonplace. So this house was stuffed full of smuggled scotch whiskey, which had been an enormous part of the erstwhile owner's history. When he died suddenly, the secret stuff he had stashed stayed hidden for almost 100 years. It's still worth a pretty penny today, and each of the 66 bottles are estimated to be worth about $1,000. Number 8. Man Finds a Hidden Safe in His Grandparents' Closet Ah, uh, great. One of my favorite sorts of stories. Some guy on Reddit telling a fascinating and very long-winded story that nobody really cares about. Lucky us, we're in for a treat. This bloke was clearing out his grandparents' home in Tennessee after they had passed away. They had left their home to him, their grandson, so he was busy cleaning it up and restoring the property, and he removed an old and somewhat grubby rug from inside the closet in the bedroom, and beneath it he made an interesting discovery. There was a metal disc in the stone floor. That disc, it turned out, was actually connected to a safe which had been concealed underground. He had a go at trying to crack the safe as if he were in a heist movie or something, but in the end he had to call in a locksmith to do the job. I told you this was a rip-roaring adventure of fun and thrills now, didn't I? Inside the safe, he found piles of bricks. Well, he kept going and eventually would find a book of coins from 1937. Then, as he dug down further, there were actually more rare coins of gold and silver, with some silver bricks, a couple of dueling pistols, and a toolbox full of jewelry. It was a bunch of hidden treasure, but none of it was going to change the world, although I expect this dude was reasonably pleased to have found he had more stuff. Or whatever, you know. Number 7. Finding a Hidden Trap Door Well, here we have a series of images that are, for one reason or another, doing the rounds on the internet as if they were actually interesting or exciting or something. The story, for what it's worth, goes like this. A guy was helping his father to move into a new office space in some old building when they happened to notice a trap door in the floor that they'd never seen before. It is thrilling, isn't it? Well, actually, it was not a trap door as such, but more of a hatch, and it wasn't going to drop open and ditch anyone down into the bowels of the building or anything. It actually led to some steps down to a cellar or a basement sort of space beneath the building. And there, it was full of old junk of previous operations that had once inhabited the space above. It simply appeared to be a bunch of old blueprints and other junk left laying around with heaps of trash, busted light bulbs, janky old pipes, scraps of newspaper. That does not a treasure make. So pardon me for snoozing off a bit here. Uh, maybe we could just move on to something marginally more interesting now. Number 6. Untouched 19th Century Cemetery Preserved in the Basement of a Tall Building 
In New Haven, Connecticut, under the center church on the green, there is a 19th century cemetery that is perfectly preserved in the basement. This, upon first viewing at least, seems kind of creepy, but given the fact that it's inside of a church building, it is only really akin to a crypt in an older style church. Anyways, this part of the graveyard remains intact, headstones, bodies and all. It just happens to be inside the building instead of around the outside. The rest of the graveyard from outside was actually moved to Grove Street Cemetery nearby. Although they had only moved the headstones, they left the bodies in the ground. When Hurricane Sandy hit the area in 2012, a colonial era skeleton would be uncovered right outside the church. That's probably creepier than all of those graves being down there in the basement, but it depends on what kind of horror movies creep you out the most, really. It is probably much spookier at night with all of the lights off. Number 5. Couple Discovers Freaky Hidden Room Behind Bathroom Wall in Their Home when Carolyn and Stephen Sparks found a secret room hidden behind a wall in their house, it would give them a bit of a scare, and frankly, it is enough to give even a tough old internet veteran like myself the willies. The room that they found in their Victorian home in Brighton in the UK would be concealed behind a wall, and when they broke through that wall during renovation work, they discovered a flight of steep stairs that descended down into a secret room. They actually filmed themselves as they first went down there, so that the reaction they had upon reaching the room at the bottom was real. There in that tiny narrow dark space was an iron bedstead. It's a super sinister image that conjures up something extremely twisted along with some unsettling thoughts, the bed frame fills up the entire space and looks to all intents and purposes like the sort of place you would see in a horror movie. I will simply leave the rest up to your nightmares and your imaginations because I know you have some creepy stuff going on in there. Number 4. This guy found a trap door in his new apartment. Just like the beginning of a horror movie, this guy moves into a new apartment in an old building in England, and he soon discovers a secret doorway that was not listed in the lease. Dun dun dun! Oh, except that it's actually just a regular hatch in the floor for access to the cellar. This is extremely common in older buildings in the UK and can be found in spaces like this up and down the entire country. To be perfectly honest, this is barely even worth mentioning in passing conversation, let alone typing it up and documenting every part of it in photographs on the internet. He poked around down there for a bit, and yes, there is a lot of space. It is beneath a large 19 century building after all, but really, how dopey do you need to be not to know what a cellar is? Number 3. Dr. Anna's House and Surgery, Germany this is an old abandoned property in Germany which is known as Dr. Anna's House and Surgery. It was once owned by a doctor who specialized in urology. There were two lower floors which comprised the surgery, two examination rooms, and also an operating theater as well as waiting rooms and storerooms, a library, and all the accoutrements that you would expect in a doctor's surgery. Now, the fact that it is an abandoned place makes it a Pinterest wet dream, stuffed full of creepy weird medical equipment and all that that sort of junk. Lots of people who like to photograph such things have evidently snuck inside and moved things about to be able to take even the creepiest of pictures possible. Although it is not massively difficult to take creepy pictures when you have jars containing human kidneys at your disposal. Anyhow, here you go. Let your eyeballs absorb all the creepy macabre vibes of this place. It is especially effective when the scene is so well dressed to be as creepy as humanly possible. There's no way that any self-respecting doctors would would leave blood-stained clothing on the operating table, or indeed all of their sterile equipment just laying about like this, if they had been so very slovenly, then they would likely as not have not made the sort of money from their occupation that they evidently did. But there you are, a well-dressed set perhaps, but definitely not just stumbled upon by any means. Number 2. Forgotten Abandoned House with Creepy Doll Left Behind and for our next trick, we have for your lucky old eyeballs, an internet classic, the creepy doll in the abandoned house. Woohoo! I know this is why you've stuck around for so long, but here it is, and it's absolutely in no way whatsoever staged at all. 
This doll is certainly possessed and has found its way into doing some creepy hauntings in a building that nobody uses. That's exactly how these things go, and it's certain that nobody ever, ever took a creepy doll and used it as a prop to make a YouTube video and boost their likes and views. In fact, these urbexers actually say that when their video gets 1,000 of said likes, they're going to go back to the same building and poke around in a tunnel that gave them the willies. Well, whatever floats your boat, and if you're into getting creeped out by dollies in the dark? Well, you know, you do you, my friend, and the very best of luck with that. Number 1. Couple discovers 33 feet deep hole built in Middle Ages beneath their living room. When this couple moved into their Victorian home in Devon in the UK over 24 years ago, they did notice a weird dent in the middle of the living room floor, but they decided to leave it alone for the time being. And when they finally got around to investigating the odd shape, they were surprised to find out that they had been sitting on the site of a medieval well for the last couple of decades or so. They were replacing some joists in the floor when they saw that there was something going on in the foundation of the house. Eventually, they roped in a local handyman to help dig it out and find out what was concealed beneath. It would take three days of digging and moving earth with a rope and bucket, but they found out that the well dates back to the Middle Ages, as well as a sword and some other artifacts. They stopped digging at 17 feet, but they believe the well continues down to at least 33 feet below the surface and could actually contain many more hidden objects and bits of history. Well, well, well. Who would ever have thought it? That's enough poking about under other people's floorboards for one day. What did you think about all these creepy discoveries? And did any of them give you the willies? Or are you as puzzled as I am about the lack of knowledge in basements? Go ahead and sling some of your thoughts into the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.